I'd like to uh, follow up on the um, relationship with China. Do you yourself have contacts with the Chinese government? And if you do, what messages do you send to Beijing? Thank you. No, unfortunately, we do not have contacts with the government of China. We try very hard. Uh, some of the members of the NLD always try to approach Chinese diplomats at diplomatic receptions, but they somehow seem to be able to evade our people quite successfully. I wish they wouldn't do that. I wish they would talk to us. I wish that uh, the Chinese diplomats in Burma would let the NLD get closer to them. Perhaps Hong Kong University can pass on this message. We're approaching the 22nd anniversary from the Tiananmen Massacre, and uh, it seems like the situation is getting worse uh, from this perspective we're looking from Hong Kong. And um, two things, it's um, from the perspective of China, uh, why do you think the Chinese government is so afraid, or why are they taking this action of putting in a lot of uh, dem people in the democracy movement or the human rights to jail or under custody? And the second part of this question is that people who are supporting the movement in Hong Kong for a long time, it seems like a lot of the people are feeling some sort of uh, powerlessness. Uh, things are not moving to the right direction, actually digressing. Would you uh, please uh, give a message to those people in Hong Kong who are supporting this movement? Thank you very much. Are things really regressing? This is not the impression that we get. Of course, at the moment, because China is making such uh, progress economically, there, is less, there seems to be less interest uh, on the political side. But I think things will change, because in the end, people if, want to feel secure. The richer they are, the more they start, uh, va they start putting a premium on security. And security, in that sense, means that certain rights have to be assured security, rights, these all lead up to one thing, democracy and human rights. So I do not think that you should despair. And really, this is the impression we get is not that you are regressing so much as that for the time being, the Chinese people are so interested in economic pro progress that they have not quite looked at the political side of the matter. I think that will come, and perhaps sooner than you imagine. Dosu, uh, you've been talking about the uh, virtues of democracy. Now, at a time when uh, the democratic United States is widely seen to be in decline, uh, and the uh, undemocratic China is uh, rising inexorably, do you feel that uh, the very future of democracy uh, in the world may be in question? Uh, that is to say, uh, will some countries feel that the Chinese model works better for them than the American model? Thank you. I think what we're talking now about is, is economic progress. Certainly the economic progress that China is making is incredible and we're all very impressed by it and we would all like our countries to improve economically at such a rate. But on the other hand, I think you cannot ignore the social problems that have been rising as well. We in Burma are aware of this. Let me mention something which perhaps is not widely known in Burma, uh, in, in China and in Hong Kong. Many girls from the north of Burma have been involved in this human traffic, trafficking racket because there are many men in China who need wives and they cannot get Chinese wives. So they buy girls from Burma to be their wives. This is a big social problem. This is just one I'm mentioning because it touches us so closely. So I do not think we can just look at the economic progress that China has been making and, and say, this is the way we want the world to go. As I said earlier, I have great admiration for China as a great country with a, a great history and a people who are so capable and so intelligent and so hardworking. But I think we have to be a lot more open-minded than we would be if we were just going to look at the e economic aspect of China. And I must just say a word for the United States. Yes, it has many problems, 
but because it is a democracy, there are many ways in which people could get involved to try to solve these problems. Education is important, especially for the learners that who want to know more about current issues. However, in Hong Kong, especially, some of the people do not un, do not have interest in current issue on politics. While there's a lot of critics about the nationalism, education is being imposed in Hong Kong, and is this a bad way? And that the student cannot know what is democracy and what is the good thing of democracy, especially after the implementation of nationalism education. Thank you. I think any education that is narrow cannot really be as good as an, an education that is broad. And I think you've got to work at it. It's not just the educational institutions that help to educate people. It's the whole society. This is why I said that I look on people as learners and non-learners. You can learn from life and you can help other people to learn from life. So you mustn't despair. You, 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 you mustn't think, oh, nothing is going right, people are not interested. You've got to work harder to interest, in, interest them in a broader universe. <laughs>